about to go to a Frenchic Furniture Paint Showcase for press and bloggers um, and someone very famous is going to be there and if you know anything about interiors then as soon as you see him you'll know who I'm talking about. Um, I'll give you a clue that his initials are MM and yeah he's been on the TV loads, one of my favourite people. Maybe I'll get an autograph. Hmm. Yeah, I'm just joking. That would be a good one, wouldn't it? So, Alice in Wonderland is actually out of copyright now. Oh, is it? The old Alice in Wonderland. Yeah, because it's so... Uh, like, they're... So I'm back from an awesome day out at Friendship Paints Showcase event. Um, so as you can see we got a goodie bag and you would have seen in the video that we were each given a wooden heart um, and left to decorate it how we wanted to. So I went for quite a masculine theme because my lounge is quite dark wood and I really loved this stag image. So I left my heart natural and decoupage the front and you can see a little bit of a sheen on there where we've used the finishing paint um, just to seal it and I am so chuffed with this. I think it looks lovely. It looks actually like it's ingrained in the wood or burnt into it. So I'm really chuffed with that. There's a little bit of around the edge where the paper's been torn. So what I'm gonna do is sand that back um, just to make it a little bit more subtle. But for my first attempt, amazing. So thank you so much the girls at the showcase, at French Cheek Paints um, Showcase, because I wouldn't have had the confidence to try this by myself. So I'm so chuffed that I now know how to do it. So I'm just gonna run through a few of the things that they put in the goodie bag. Obviously that will go down a treat with anyone. Just to say thank you for attending, that was lovely, really nice. Really um, like the paint brushes that were being used, so obviously um, to get this in the goodie bag is brilliant. Okay, so we've got a box here with some paints inside. Um, let's have a look. So this one is called Sugar Puff, I love that. I actually asked Pam the founder how she came up with um, the, the names for the colours of the paint and she just said mum I just 
yeah, I look at it and pretty much the first thing comes into my mind, which I think is fantastic. One of the paints is actually named after her dog as well. Um, but yeah, some great names, Plum Pudding. Look at that, it's a beautiful colour. And she actually said that she only uses, or she only um, has the paint colours that she, you know, she really loves. So she wouldn't actually choose something in their range if she didn't, if she didn't like the colour. This is clear wax furniture paint. That's a nice little sample there. What else have we got? Ah, here's something for you. So they do um, three ranges. The lazy range paint. It's a water-based, environmentally friendly. They're all uh, environmentally friendly, child friendly. Um, chalk and mineral paint, I'm reading this now, um, it's been prepared especially for busy people that want to simply paint and go. So what I learned is that it's kind. the Lazy Range paint has got wax in it, so when you paint you don't have to wax it afterwards, which is simply superb really. So the company has just launched its Alfresco range, which I simply love. I can't wait to get out in the garden and, you know, to start painting some outdoor stuff. I think it's fabulous. I love the fact that they are continually reinventing as well. Okay, so at the moment um, we have one, two, three, four, five, five different colours, old blue eyes, uh, cream dream, wise old sage, palm of violet, which is this one here, and apple of my eye. So palm of violet, I said to, I asked Pam, oh palm of violet, she said, oh yeah, you know, like the little sweets you get. And um, I don't know if you can see that colour without tipping over too much, but it really is a very, very pale shade of lilac. It's lovely, gorgeous. Got some stencils, bumblebee stencils. There's those different ones that you can get in there. And then we have the finishing coats, which is what I used on my lovely wooden heart. So this stuff is fabulous. I think I might be trying to get hold of some more of this. So I saw some bloggers um, using this. I was really, really impressed. Um, it's paint, it's paint. Yeah, well, I guess it is paint, but it's the easy crackle. So, you know, you get the crackle effect, which I love. I actually really like it with quite strong contrasting colors because you say you paint your base coat a dark, dark gray, for example, um, and then apply this and paint your top coat. Um, or vice versa. I don't know because I didn't actually do it, but we'll read up about it. Uh, and then you get the um, the crackle blaze effect coming through. It looks beautiful. Really, really nice. Oh, I've actually found the instructions here. So the thicker the layer of crackle, the larger the crackle. And also the thicker the layer of paint applied on top, the thicker the crackle. If you go onto the Friendship website anyway, I mean, you know, it's got Max on there giving demos and chatting and obviously Pam, the founder, um, but instructions as well on how to use the paint, which is really handy. So here are just some of the lovely colours in the range. As you can see, they have got many, many colours. Um, fabulous for transforming wooden furniture. All the paint is odourless as well. Um, and yeah, I mean, you know, the lazy range, I love the idea of that. Needs no waxing or finishing coat. Love the idea of the alfresco. I can't wait to get out and try that this summer. So yeah, all in all, I am a huge fan. So watch this space or watch this channel, I should say. Um, do subscribe because I will be doing some nice little paint projects around the house and in the garden, hopefully over the next couple of months as the weather gets better. So yeah, I'd love you to join me and to keep in touch. If you've enjoyed the video, I would love a thumbs up. Any sort of details that I've got, I will put in the description below. Thanks for watching guys and see you next time.